The Gauteng Department of Social Development hosted a breakfast to this, rather with the various business fraternities at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in Santon. The aim of the breakfast, led by the department's MEC Mbali Lope, is to identify possible key areas of collaboration between the government and private sector in an effort to address the skills shortage issue. Gauteng Department of Social Development's MEC Mbali Shope is hosting a business breakfast with various business fraternities to identify key possible areas of collaboration between the private sector and government. The MEC did say that the area of the Gauteng Social Development Provincial Government is the township informal settlements and hostels because they say that the substance abuse in those areas is of great importance to the Gauteng Provincial Government. When you think about food insecurity, it's right on top of our priorities. Food insecurity, we need to make sure that we're able to reduce that. Substance abuse is another big area, and we know that it's beginning to eat away at the gen future generation, and that is where we need to invest quite a lot to make sure that these young people, we turn them away from these substances and give them back hope. Homelessness is another big factor, as you would have seen with the data. Gauteng, because of its economic position within the country, attracts a lot of people, and a lot of them end up on the streets, so it, com it compounds our problems. She also spoke about skills development being a key element of the rehabilitation process and centers around the province. You know, the military has been roped in to help in various um, townships and settlements in terms of discipline, because uh, the MSC did add that, you know, the, the military must be roped in in key areas when they want to deal with substance abuse. Of course, community development from the policing side must do their work in terms of making sure that we deal with the supply of these. But we also have a responsibility to make sure that we're able to have individuals who are strong enough to say no. And so we're investing quite a lot in terms of awareness, building the self-confidence of individuals and so forth, because part of the things that anybody needs to come across, is even as you grow up and you go through adolescence and so forth, is the ability to say no, because temptations will always be there. So whilst that department for police and community safety needs to do its work, we also need to teach them how to be motivated enough to say no because they know that they need to be more invested in their future. And this is where the hopelessness comes in. So if you're a young person, you've gone to school, some of them are graduates, and you've got nowhere else to go, there's no jobs, what do you do? So they sit and they become susceptible to these and the drugs that are there. Uh, the MEC says skills development is the biggest recipient of funding from the Gauteng government because they say that this is the most important element in terms of growth and development in the country. Zoli Banzi Mazibugo for Soetu TV News.